everyone, it's Natalie here and I am filming a very exciting video today. So this is going to be the first video in one of the series that I am starting. I realize I have about one year left in college, so I want to make as many college related videos as I can while I'm still in it. Um, just because I feel like they help a lot of you guys out and a lot of my viewers, most of them are actually in college right now or going into college. So I just really want to kind of inform you guys on my college experience, other college experiences, just the different options that you guys can take because college is definitely not a straight line. There's so many different ways you can go about it. And I know when I was going into college, I did not have anything like this to look at. I looked at so many websites, but I looked at a lot of websites that are kind of older people write them or just more like ratings and stuff like that. I would love to have known more of an actual person in college informing me on the questions that I had. So that is the start of this series. Throughout the summer, I'm going to kind of talk about different majors and the paths that you guys can go, why you would choose that major or why others choose that major. I'm also going to talk about kind of how I chose NC State versus other colleges, how, I, how you guys can choose the college you guys want to go to, how you guys can choose your major, just trying to help you out and any way I can because I know college is such a confusing process and it's really really hard to kind of make a decision that's going to impact you for the rest of your life so I'm here to help the first video that I am going to be doing in the series is how I chose my major and I'm doing the engineering edition because that is my major. I'm actually going to be asking a couple of my friends to star in these videos um, and ask them how they chose their major in the same format that I'm doing this video. So if you guys want that, please give this a thumbs up. I would love for you guys to give that a thumbs up just so I know that you guys want to see these videos. Any other how-to college videos or making decision videos or anything about college, please leave in the comments below because I really do want to make this a series, so kind of like a how I blank, how I chose engineering, how I chose where to go to school, how I whatever. Um, so I would love for you guys to do that. And also list the other majors that you guys want. First one I'm going to start is how I chose engineering. Also, if you guys are new here, thanks so much for watching and clicking on this video. And please subscribe if you guys want to. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. And if you guys don't want to miss out on this series, definitely do that. Um, you guys can follow me on all my social medias if you want to know me more. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So, I have my handy notes right here that I wrote down and I kind of have bullet points on the topics I want to talk about to kind of keep it organized so all the videos have the same theme. First question that I'm going to be asking is what is engineering? So, I actually wrote down a definition that I found on the internet and then I'll kind of put it into my own words. So the definition that I found was, it is the application of scientific knowledge to solving problems in the real world. So that is essentially the easiest way to describe engineering. It is just solving problems, it's problem solving, it's uh, making things more efficient, it's making companies worry less because they have an engineer on the job. That's kind of how I view it. I view engineering basically as making things simpler and making it better. Engineering makes everything kind of better, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of like a very broad statement, but I think that's the best way to describe it. It's a lot of scientific application though, so it's everything is through logic, through science. It's not just like intuitive, it's very logical. So I think that is why it's such a hard major because you have a lot of pressure on kind of making things better, like civil engineers who build bridges. Like they really need to know their stuff so the bridges don't collapse when a bunch of cars are on it, you know? So it's just a lot of science and logic and physics and just applying your knowledge to real world problems. Why I chose engineering, that is the second question that I'm going to ask and I chose personally engineering because I wanted a very broad major. So I wanted a major that wasn't going to limit me. I know I have talked about this before but I was between fashion and engineering which a lot of you guys are probably like, what? I know, totally different, they are so so different, they're not even close to being related together, but <laughs> I really loved fashion, so granted I do this YouTube channel which has like a ton of fashion videos and makeup and stuff, so I really love fashion, so that's why I was like, I kinda wanna work with that, but then I also was thinking that I want a major that is more broad and that I can apply my knowledge and also challenge myself, because I wanted to be challenged in high school. I always took pretty like hard courses, I think I took about seven, seven AP courses in high school. Um, so I did that and by no means you need to, if you didn't take seven AP courses does not mean that you cannot be an engineer. Like, no, that's not what that means. But um, I always kind of liked challenging myself. I never wanted to be in the easier classes. I always wanted to push myself and work hard and 
that is why I also chose engineering because I knew it was a great degree that would challenge me and be hard but like I would be rewarded afterwards you know with fashion it was very very broad or not broad so it was kind of like I was stuck in fashion like if I wanted to do another job later on in the road 10 15 years down the road I mean by that point I probably could with the experience I had but in general I'm kind of stuck in like I'm only studying fashion box and I did not want that for those of you who are studying it good for you I think it is a great major but that was just my thought process behind it and then I wanted something that I knew would be secure so engineering is obviously one of the most secure jobs right now if you guys look at like the top uh, jobs for graduates from last year they're all in engineering or computer science I also really really liked math um, I kind of liked science but I really liked math in high school and I knew that I was good at it I was a very very logical person I was very numbers driven I am extremely numbers driven I like like thinking in numbers I don't like writing papers I don't like reading essays um, I always did way better on like the math portion of the SAT than the English and writing section so that was just the way my brain worked and I knew engineering was great at that also both my parents are engineers so they definitely influenced my decision they didn't make it for me but they did influence it like I have an older sister and she didn't go into engineering but um, I saw what they did and I thought it was a cool job I also wanted to work in a big company and I knew every single company needs engineers that is basically literally every single reason I thought of and I was like hmm I guess this is a good thing to do I didn't really have any other options besides fashion or engineering and because I wanted all of those things that I listed engineering fit the mold the next question that I'm going to be splitting this video into is do I regret my decision so whenever I have other people I'm gonna be asking them like do you regret majoring in this um, so for me personally no I do not regret it but a lot of you guys have asked like why are you doing engineering because I have said before that I personally right after college I don't really want to get an engineering related job which I know a lot of you guys are like what why are you doing this video okay hear me out guys so I don't really want to get into an engineering related job because I have done I have become very serious on YouTube this summer or not this summer in college I have like really devoted time to YouTube I really really love it and I do it all while doing college um, which is possible guys all of those like rude comments on my last video that were like you definitely can't do YouTube in college like hello here I am I have a Bubba 3.0 and I'm still doing it so <laughs> sorry that was kind of like my to the haters comment of the video anyways I Definitely have realized how much I love YouTube and how much I love working with different companies and I love working on like creating content for you guys and I love marketing like I don't know I, I feel like YouTube and marketing kind of go hand in hand because YouTube is the new form of advertising and like Instagram and social media and all that stuff and I just like really have grown a connection with the companies I've worked with and the people that I've met through YouTube and I've become in love so that is why YouTube has drawn me so much more to kind of this like creator content creator entertainment marketing all kind of in air quotes life and so I have I think after college I want to focus more on YouTube not be a full-time youtuber necessarily but because I can't right now <laughs> but I just wanted to be something in a more creative industry I don't want to work in a warehouse I don't want to be working a manufacturing plant I don't want to be in a cubicle at this moment or at least like not a boring one I don't know I know that's like typical like millennial like wants to work in like an open office and whatever but I really do want to be more in a creative environment which is what YouTube has allowed me to do and through YouTube I've actually realized how much I love it and all while realizing that I was studying engineering so these like paths are going side by side but they're not really like aligning so I have to choose so I have to choose one of the paths and I think after college I want to focus more on the YouTube path that doesn't mean I'm not gonna get my degree get you guys heck no I have worked my butt off for three years I'm getting my engineering degree but that just means that I am going to try to pursue another path and then later on the road I still have my engineering degree so like it's definitely not gonna come to waste and I feel like with engineering it is so broad and I'm an industrial engineer for those who are gonna ask in the comments below I'm an industrial engineering um, for and that one is the more like business engineering so it kind of does add up a little bit like it's more I can become in management I can do business with it so I think that I definitely don't regret my decision though because I have gained a lot of skills like I've gained a lot of problem-solving skills I'm definitely more logical I feel like I am so much more of like a smarter person in general than when I came into college like I think of things a little differently um, and I think that is an advantage in life in general so I don't regret it at all 
it is hard and there are definitely days where I do cry and I'm like why did I do this I know that the skills engineering equips me with are definitely going to help me out in the real world so I'm happy about that the next question in this video is what type of job can I get so I'm going to be talking about the jobs that you guys can get in engineering. So for me specifically, I am an industrial engineer, so I'm mainly talking about that. But with engineering, all companies need engineers. Literally all of them need engineers. This video is very broad because engineering is very broad. Like there's civil, there's uh, mechanical, there's industrial, there's biomedical, there's uh, aerospace. There's literally so many different types of engineering's out there that all, like the jobs are so like, different you can work actually in any company at all so if you're doing computer science engineering that's definitely more coding and working with software development if you are doing civil engineering that's more working on roads and bridges i know that's like there's so much more that they can do they can do construction and stuff like that um if you're working with industrial like me i have them written out for you guys for me specifically i said that all companies need industrial engineers basically all of them do um many go into the business world you can be a project manager you can work in management um, you can do supply chain, you can do, I'm reading it off, you can work in like the risk assessment or risk analyst, um, you can work with fraud if you're working for a credit card company, that's what my mom actually did, my mom's also an IE and she worked at American Express and she worked in their fraud department. Um, you can work with statistics because industrial engineering is a big statistics uh, heavy load. So there's a ton of jobs you can do, the main thing to get out of it is that any company needs one and you're basically making things better for the company and every company needs that, so that is why it's a pretty stable and secure degree to go into. And then at the end of every video like this, I am going to give you guys the top three best universities for your major or for this major specifically. So I just looked up best engineering undergrad schools and I got this from US News and I think they're a pretty like legit ranking site. Um, so the best one, no surprise here, is MIT. The second best is Stanford and the third best is UC Berkeley. So if you guys go to any of the schools and are studying engineering, congrats, you're one of the top three in the country. You must be so smart and please leave a comment below if you guys have ever visited those schools or if you go there or if you know anyone that goes there how your experience is if you guys are in engineering or thinking of going into it comment down below what school you go to or which one you want to go to I really hope that this series picks up and that you guys really like it because I feel like I want to help you guys a lot because I know how stressful college is um, I know it's like definitely such a big decision and I want to help you guys as much as I can for those of you guys who are new here and don't really know a lot about me I am Natalie Hi, I've addressed that. Um, I am 21 years old. I am a, going to be a senior in I'm a senior in college. Ooh, so weird. And I am studying industrial engineering, like I said, and I go to NC State University. Go Wolfpack, guys. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure to comment the other majors that you want because I guarantee I have a friend in that major or I can find one and have them be in this video. Uh, I really want to help you guys out. I'm so excited for this series because I know I have one year left and I really want to help you guys as much as I can. Uh, so please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, leave them down below and I or someone else will answer them because I know that you guys are great at answering other people's comments down below. You guys are great. I love you guys. Um, but yeah, comment down below and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention, I have a vlog channel, so please go subscribe. I'm daily vlogging. All right, <laughs> bye guys.